time we tried Jolly Bee. First time. Oh, thank you, ma'am. There's enough Italian type flavor in it to balance it out. Oh, I see. You have spaghetti with chicken. Yeah. I want that. I want it's about three dollars, guys. It's not bad at all. Spaghetti comes with little hot dogs. A card. Yeah. Jack Brisk. Oh, I love. Juicy and fresh. All right, <laughs> these girls are awesome. Thank you so much. So, <clears throat> it's time we try Jolly Beans. The legendary Jolly Beans. This is my first time walking into the restaurant. And Jack's first Jolly Beans. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Wow, it looks good in here. Hello. You okay being on the vlog? Yeah. All right. What would I like in Jollibee? What's good here? Everything? Uh, chicken soup. Everything? Everything. <laughs> um, you know what I haven't tried? Your spaghetti. Could I have a large spaghetti? Large spaghetti. Mm -hmm. uh, we have platter of spaghetti soup uh, portion in four pieces. Uh, I'm sorry. What do you have? Uh, spaghetti soup. Okay. Yeah. One spaghetti. Sir. One spaghetti. And Big drink, sir. a large Coke. Large Coke. Mm -hmm. For here. For here, yeah. Oh, I see. You have spaghetti with chicken. Yeah. I want that. I want that. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> Mom, sorry, bye, please. So I'm going to get some spaghetti, and some jelly beans, chicken. Oh. It looks good. Yes, that's, that's all. Fun. That's everything. One hundred seventy-nine pesos. All right, one seventy-nine. Yeah. That's a good price. It's about three dollars, guys. It's not bad at all. I'm still learning to count your money. <laughs> I'm new. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you. And do you have any dipping sauce for the chicken? Like um, barbecue? Pesto, ketchup. Any barbecue or? Uh, no sir, we don't have that. Uh, only uh, ketchup and hot sauce. Thank you. Thank you. A little hot sauce. Hot sauce. Okay. Yeah. Here's your number two. Oh, thank you. Would you like to see, uh, would you like a card for the vlog? You might see yourself. You want to give a shout out? <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, hi, hello. How are What's your brother, sir? Uh, you need support. Okay, and your name? Emily, sir. Nice to meet you. Hi. Pleasure. My first, again, my first time. YouTube, sir. What? For YouTube? Yeah, yeah, for YouTube. Um, Can I get your Yeah, right here, actually. Give you a card. Jack Brisk at YouTube. Oh, I vlog. <laughs> nice to meet you. Your name is? Lawrence. Ah, nice to meet you, too. All right. How many subscribers you have, Ah, uh, About 10. 10? Yeah. 10. 10, 10, yeah. Oh, congrats. Still new. Subscribe, like. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that was fast. I guess I just placed your like 10 seconds ago. So. Chicken gravy and the hot sauce. Awesome. Thank you so very much. You want to give me a like and subscribe? Yeah, sir. Later, sir. Shout it out. Like. Like and subscribe. <laughs> can, you, can you both do it at the same time? Okay. Like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, these girls are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> follow you later, sir. I, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Say hi in the comments. I'll say hi back. Yeah. All right, bye bye. Come join me. Still here. Though. Oh yeah, forks. So guys, my first Jollibee's. Yep. Yep. Yeah, first Jollibee. 
Just in case y'all can't hear me, let's bring it over here. Kill you down just a bit. So, to recap, in case you guys couldn't hear me over there, trying the spaghetti. Trying the spaghetti, I really like it. It's um, not as sweet as I was led to believe here in the vlogs online, but it is sweet. There is a sweet taste to it. Um, really, really good though. There's enough Italian type flavor in it to balance it out, so it's really good. Their spaghetti comes with little hot dogs. Which are kind of cooked into the sauce, so the hot dog has no flavor left. It's still good though, it's still good filler. And the sauce is good and I like it a lot. So I tried dipping in hot sauce a few moments ago, and the hot sauce um, was like probably six of the ten. And I say ten meaning like make your eyes water. Don't like it. Um, I'm not really you know, a fan of super hot. I like a little bit of spicy is good, but this is too hot for me. That mean daring me. Maybe with a bunch of blue cheese dressing, it might work. No breakfast. Pretty long ride over here. Immigration was a snap, really good. First month here. And uh, I'm feeling better, man. And the chicken is juicy and fresh. Mm. As I said before, the chicken is better than KFC. Uh, I ordered KFC a few nights ago here and it wasn't that good. I got a big bucket of 10 pieces and uh, the chicken itself was incredibly salty. I mean it was crispy but this is better actually. Uh, it was salty, it wasn't as juicy as it's supposed to be so it shows me it probably wasn't as fresh. It doesn't matter that it was salty, it was hard and salty. So KFC is supposed to be legendarily good but if I had a rate a two, KFC would be a five, this would be like an eight. This is this is a lot better than KFC. And there's my first experience, but maybe I'll change my mind someday. Alright. So I give this this nice little container, make sure I don't spill it, and the brown gravy. Um, looks good, but I'm gonna try an honest test like completely separate from food. Pork, right? Tastes good. Kind of like canned brown gravy. Let's take some of my chicken meat. Okay. Nice, juicy, fresh, hot chicken meat. That works. Oh, that's better than I thought. Sorry, I ate half my chicken without it. Ooh, this is good. Sorry, Mom, but this stuff is good. Your cooking is the best, though, of course. So here we are, day 
25 in the Philippines, give or take. And it's been hard, honestly. It's been hard to adapt. And I got sick for the first two weeks. I mean, I got sick coming off that airplane. I was sick. I was worried it cost me. I was worried if I was ever going to recover. But what I recommend to you is talk to your doctor before you come. Tell her you want something for traveler sickness. At least that's the way I heard it described. He'll say, what do you mean? Tell her you want some strong antibiotics, like citrofloxin or something like that. Um, a good count, like a good 50 of them or something to take with you because you'll be traveling around, say, the Philippines. And you want to have access to a doctor all the time. So in case you catch something, middle of the province, you'll be able to at least treat yourself. And I did exactly that. So knocked out whatever thing I had, and it was better in about two weeks. So sort of uh, everything, the whole nine yards. Uh, regardless, that's a good tip. Get some traveler's medication for yourself. And for me, personally, I'm a whole bunch of ibuprofen and stuff. It's all good. Good food. Chicken is like, like if um if KFC is a five, this is an eight. This is way better chicken. Way yeah, better. that's why I like the chicken. You know, yeah. I remember last time we were in KFC. No good, man. That eight, that ten piece, I think. Eight piece, I think, actually. The eight piece was salty. The meat wasn't as fresh. Just so much better. Like I won't order KFC. It, it'll be jelly piece. And the spaghetti was good. Like the bloggers. They had me believing that it was going to be like pure sugar. It's a little sweet, but not much sweet. It still has the Italian taste to it. I mean, that's why a lot of people miss. McDonald's is one of the famous, right? Number one famous fast food? Yeah, country. probably in the but world. Here is, you know, Jollibee. All oh, the places. Jollibee. Jollibee's poops all over McDonald's, guys. <laughs> Jollibee's wins. Well, actually, you know what? Let's be fair. Only in what I had, and, you, and normally you cannot buy spaghetti and chicken at McDonald's, so obviously Jolly Bees is the one. Right? How about here? Does McDonald's have spaghetti? Uh, I haven't different? tried uh, McDonald's uh, spaghetti yet. Okay. But yeah, I like their spaghetti here. Their burger. Yeah, their young burger. They call it cheese dog. Not freaking me. Lami? Lami. 
The meat. The meat kayo. The <laughs> meat kayo. Which is Filipino or Basayan? Ah, uh, Cebuano. Cebuano. Basayan. The meat. The meat. The meat. I keep seeing. I always put an N on the end. I don't know. And the meat. The meat. The meat kayo. Very good. In Tagalog, sobrang Sobrang sarap. Sarap means. Masarap. Yummy. Delicious. delicious. Yeah, sarap is delicious. Tastes good. Alright, man. What I need now is. To fun. buy your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Feel better, Yay? Feel a little better than you think? Yeah, I mean, I was so. I was all sweaty before. I sat down and ate this, pulled my stomach off. I don't know if you want any. It's not good, like, it's not good eating cold or, you know, like, cold, really cold. With if you're hot, it is. No, it I mean. It cools your inside now. But, like, you know, without breakfast or lunch, like, you know, without fast food, it's not good. We don't not, recommend. Not for me. Yeah, like, we don't recommend you eat, like, you know, we eat Filipinos. Right. Well, maybe. It has to do with like our culture because a lot of people didn't have refrigeration in the past. I don't know, but in our culture, in breakfast, you either have hot coffee, typically, right? There's differences. You can have hot coffee or ice cold orange juice or ice cold milk, maybe for kids and orange juice, things like that. Not soda. So cold is good in the morning. It doesn't affect anything. Yeah, but here, like for example, you. Oh, you didn't eat breakfast or lunch, and then you take the your stomach or uh, stomach. Okay, ice cream, big. Depends on whether or not you're lactose intolerant. So if you're one of those like half of the human beings on Earth on quarter, that milk kind of not perfect in the stomach, cold milk will mess you up. Mess you up good, brothers. I have changed my battery. It's been wonderful being with you today. Let's try that again. Brothers, I have changed my batteries, man. I will see you on the flip side. Wah!